All right, we're going to talk a little bit. When you come to the roof, it is on fire, and you've been sent. It looks like a top floor fire. There's a lot of flames showing out some windows. You got heavy smoke. There's a, a, a likelihood you're going to need a roof opened up. So at least you're going up there. So you're taking some tools with you. You're taking chainsaws. You're taking the hooks, and you're coming up prepared to open up the roof. You got your SCBA on. You get up here. Uh, there's several things you want to do when you first get here. I've already mentioned the bulkhead door. That's a high priority. Then start having a guy going around the perimeter, looking over. Uh, you can see a lot from that roof real quick that command may not want to know. You may go in uh, uh, one corner, the AB corner, and you see a lot of flames shooting out a window or a lot of smoke trying to push out of a top floor window. So let them know that. And you know, the old thing of tying a, a rope to a halligan and throwing it off the roof to ventilate those top floor windows, that actually does work. That's a pretty quick way to do it. So getting some horizontal uh, uh, ventilation going real quick, it's a lot faster than cutting this roof initially. So you may want to think of that. Uh, as a trucker, one of the things I think you always want to remember uh, is how the wind's blowing. If I'm on the side of this building and we got a really strong wind coming out of the south, 35, 40 miles an hour, I probably wouldn't want to take those windows because it's not going to let much heat and smoke out. It's going to let air in. And it might let enough air in to really light up those top rooms just as you have an engine company try to make it. They're trying to make that hallway to get to that room that's on fire. And you take the windows on the windward side, uh, you may just burn them up. So as a trucker, you've always got to be thinking about the wind, which way it's blowing. And what I always tell my guys, look where the smoke is. If we got a lot of smoke coming off this, uh, uh, C side of this building, that's the side I want to ventilate. There may be none coming from the A side because a strong wind, you go in a fire, it's like two different fires a lot of times. One side, there's no smoke. You go to the other side, the downwind side, and smoky as heck. That's where you want to ventilate at. So I go up here and I'm going to ventilate this roof now. I, I've checked the sides. We may be done a little roof ventilation. I might want to take my saw once we figured out where we're going to put the hole. And I may want to do a little inspection hole. I may cut a, a triangle out and pop the material out. What I like to do is pop the roofing out. I got a feel for this saw and I cut down to I just hit the decking. I pop the material out. I want to see how thick it is, how many layers I have to cut through. And then I want to look at the sheeting boards, which way they're running. If the sheeting boards are running this way, I know the main supports are running this way. They're always going to run at a right angle to the sheeting boards, the supports. So I cut a little place out and I look and I go, the sheeting boards are running this way and, and the supports are running this way. What I'm probably gonna do then, I'm gonna take my saw and I'm gonna plunge through in the same direction that the uh, supports are running. I'm gonna plunge through and I'm gonna cut down and I'll make a pretty long cut, maybe eight feet. And then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna take my saw and so I got my sheeting boards and my supports are running that way. I'm gonna start cutting like this. I'm just gonna take one half step out, overlap my cut. Let's say this right here is my cut. I'm gonna take a nice half step, plunge through, cut back. I'm gonna move over about a foot, plunge through, cut back. I'm gonna move over a foot, plunge through, cut back. And I'm gonna do that across there maybe eight, 10 feet. If it's sheeting boards, when you're doing that, they're gonna start dropping right through. They're going to drop right through. The ones that don't, I can take a hook and bash them through. But what I'm doing is taking this saw and I'm weakening the roof. Instead of cutting an 8 by 10 hole and then trying to pull all that roofing material out, I'm going to weaken it with a saw. Let the saw do most of the work and get it ventilated. Then I'm going to push the ceilings through if I can't. Push the ceilings through if I can't. The only disadvantage with that method is when you're cutting these small segments, and if they do, the boards fall through, and we'll show you in a le later uh, uh, series on this, what we're talking about, but it's gonna start ventilating right away. So it may get a little tough. You may create more smoke. You may even have fire start coming out of your vent hole. So it makes it a little harder to do, but I know from going to the roof, I just, we can get it done so fast with a chainsaw and cutting it that method that we get it done and we're done with it. So we're off the roof.